by now, everybody should have four sources in their research folder. And just as a reminder, let me show you what your source should look like. This is the example I've been giving out. And at the top, I have the full bibliographical information. There's no author for this article. So I started with the article title. I've got the name of the website. And notice the quotation marks. In, this would be a period if it wasn't a question mark. The name of the website is in italics. The group site Scotland is also the people who make the website. So I don't have to put it twice. If it was a different company, I'd put the name of the company right here. And there's a comma. Then I have the web address and I have the date that I accessed the website. Now, just a reminder that we're not using encyclopedias, we're not using Wikipedia. And I found there are websites that just copy and paste Wikipedia onto their site. So you want to be very picky with the sources that you choose. This goes at the top. This is 50 points right here. Then I've copied the entire website onto this document. Not just part of it, the entire thing. I have taken out pictures. I've taken out ads, of course. And I'm putting notes on this page. You should have four sources already. The other thing you should have is section two should already be completed. And let me show you what section two should look like. For the seventh grade, I've got at the top half of the paper is my outline straight from mrskipper.com slash encounter seven. I have answered and provided all the information. I put it in red and I've included just a brief mention of what the source is. Here I just put the web address. Here I put actual whole source uh, citation. Here I just put the article title. And then below, I've written out the article by the paragraph section two with my citations in it. 